Okay, so all this was taken from a stream that I did about almost a, like earlier this month. I almost said almost a month ago, but that's not the case. Of the Terrytown stuff because I really enjoy this side quest and I didn't have a good recording of it when I originally played through the game, so this is the best I got. But I love this side quest so much, it's so freaking cute, and I'm glad that I was able to do it. Why am I trying to pick fights with things that can clearly, obviously kill me? Anyways, cherry tap. I don't think I've talked to Hudson and Ron's in this save file at least. Oh, no, oh. I have. Oh, it's you. You were kind enough to visit our shop, and yet I haven't been able to show you much hospitality. I'm sorry about that. You know what, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, it's sun and done, and here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive, but when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. Child? I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is, well, soon she's going to be leaving and move up to my wife's breath life screw rooted to oh. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. It's, I mean, it's fun while they're still very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. And Madison does seem to be holding for, looking forward to it. And I want to give her a big send off, but I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Uh, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on like that. I really should get back to the job site oh. soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too, with what with preparing Madison for the move. She's so busy she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone would spend, could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. Hmm. I wonder who. Hello. Mm. Rooted region doesn't get rain, so she won't need any for her rain gear. It's hot during the day, of course, but the nights get cold. They should pack her some warm things. Oh. oh, sorry, I was distracted. I was just thinking about what I should do give my daughter before her big move. She's been doing so much between making friends with the villagers here and studying in her room. I want to support her however I can. <laughs> Once you saw her on a journey, I think I'll start accepting dream home requests again. I'm certain, but I hope you can wait until then. Yep. That's fine. Wait, hang on. Oh, the storeroom. Of course. <laughs> President Hudson. Oh. That's the company storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking it inside? So it took me... Well, I originally forgot about it too. It took me a while to figure this out, but there is a cave right here. <laughs> because I was... I have a list of the map locations for this game. Um, that I put together from the internet. And I was like, it going through it, it's like, Terrytown Tunnel? What? Where? Because it's not... I thought it was originally referring to the Hudson construction site on the other end of the water thing, but hello. Wow, my aim still sucks. Okay. But no, it's apparently just underneath Terrytown. Come on, stop moving, sir. Just let me shoot you. <laughs> it's, for, it's been in both of our best interests here. I only have nine. All right, you're coming with me, President Hudson. <laughs> I know some other people have done this before, but it's just so funny. I thank you. Not being able to open the dead door was really starting to annoy me. Such a cutout. So a cutout was blocking the door. Well, I appreciate your help getting it out of the way. I'll just move these back up, back again, so they can't go and block the door again. Oh, and my also my other favorite thing about. One of my favorite things about this whole thing. <laughs> Phew, that should do it. Oh. They're a bit banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out, but you're welcome to them too. Already done. Where is Hudson? How oh, did they go to the thing? I think it might have. Why, oh, sir, that's a fancy looking rock you got there. I thought I made it, made it be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. I've got to hurry and find some sucker troop, hmm? What's this about a sucker that might be able to buy it off of you? Heading to the construction site, eh? There's a small field to use the rare card. Collect that from you. Ah! That's 20 rupees, no exceptions, but you only need to wait it once. One for your limited rides, that's bargain. How about? Nah. What's that rock? Oh, are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. 
It's a rare rock, so I still, I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> Without telling anyone, of course, uh, and it's probably not mine, but if you're interested, I would consider selling it for you. A special introductory offer of 100 rupees, what do you say? Not for that price, no. That's outrageous. In that case, how about 80 rupees? That's a one-time only deal, just for you. I mean, can you go lower? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Are you trying to sell random joint for outrageous races again? Look at this thing, it's basically just a big piece of flint. It's called 60. I call 60 no, 50 rupees a more than fair price. But I already set an absolutely fair price, and he might have. Okay, no need for the stern wife, look. So, well, what do you say? It's a real deal, it's just, just 50 rupees. I'll just take it, fine. What? He's actually gonna buy this weird rock I found? It's my lucky day. That's right, you have good eyes, sir. Yes, I have quite an affinity for weird rocks. This is definitely a very valuable and weird rock, so you've made a very wide purchase, and now this rock belongs to you. No refunds. Oh. I place it in the back room and you're ready to take it to its new home. It's about that rail card. Uh, mm -hmm. 50 birds, weird, rupees for a weird rock to hunt? Well, that's not too bad. Hmm? Ah, you again. Oh. Charge a fee to reuse the rail card, but you only need to pay it once. It's 20 rupees. What do you say? The rail car? It's Preston Hudson's Pride and Joy, an amazing contraption connecting Terrytown and the construction site. There's been a lot of strange happenings lately, things falling down from the sky right into the construction site. Hudson has turned into quite an adventure. Best I can tell, he takes what falls out of the sky and experiments until he makes something new. Oh. That's just this game. In a nutshell, <laughs> the rail car is a perfect example. It's just so simple that it control anyone can do it. Just give it a whack. Now that Hudson's back of the street. God, words. Now that Hudson's back at the site, there's no one to stop me from collecting that fee. You mean so... Ah. Ah. You mean this rail car, right? Hey, now, don't be so hasty. Sorry, but you can't take the rail card and you pay, to the, pay the fee. If you want to use it, just talk to me first. Boo. <laughs> oh? Wait. That's not how- I didn't expect that. Okay, that's really funny. Wait, how you- that did not- Hey, where are you taking that? I mean, it's your fault. You talked to me first and it made me drop it, so I can't have people making off for the rail card. Bring that back where it belongs if you don't mind. Oh, man. <laughs> Hudson built this record himself, you know. The whole system would fall apart without it, so leave it be. Wait, so... Ugh. I'll pay your stupid fee. Fine. I do like that the fact that they, they are the only two people in this town that don't have the, the <gasps> name that ends in Sun. Which just kind of shows that there are outsiders. <laughs> like, it draws a symbol. Just give it a whack to say they started stopping. You're free to use it as you please. So you just give it a whack, like so. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? How's <laughs> it made this rail car? There's only one luck in the whole world. Oh man, oh man, if I don't fix this quick, I'm gonna get it. Seriously, though, who would you charge? This goes here and that bit here, maybe? This stupid thing would be easier to fix if it didn't use those fancy zone on devices. <laughs> I managed to get it working, and it wasn't easy, so be careful, got it? You know, in second, then I'll just walk. Or fly. <laughs> wait, no, I was supposed to talk to Madison. God. Wait. So I guess I do have to walk. Well, no. But. Uh, uh. Down. Hey, it's rare to have a visitor at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Terry Town? If you're going there, the rail car right in front of you should come in handy. I'll shoot the rail car. Hang on a sec. Oh, that's good that they actually bring it back to you. Mm. There we go. If you're heading to Terrytown, it just you can use the rail car. Cool. Mm. Isn't most of them can't destroy? Yeah, pills. Uh -huh. Oh, oh! Uh, what do you think you're doing? You're going to write it, but you can you be more careful. You're not the only one who uses it. Mm. I'll fix that. Just hang on. <laughs> I'm making the lives too difficult. Feel the def zone of device isn't broken. Next, this thing goes like this. There. 
<laughs> I didn't make to make his life difficult. I just meant to make the guy who is trying to make profit out of this thing. And absolutely butchers this fictional language in which I... She is trying to learn. Good morning is Savota. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Huh? Don't fret me like that. For a second I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I'm going to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I've made it my best son to memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn more words too, mister? If so, your timing can be better. We'll have to give a listen to lesson to Gritty Monari. Monari. You should come too. After some instructions, <laughs> extract sons from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. For this lesson, you should. I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Wait, hang on. Oh, yeah, right, of course, I have to read the thing. This looks like some notes medicine root for a move for speech. Note number one, say the gr greeting clearly, smoothly, and easily. Good morning, Savota. Not Savota. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. So, um, the it's similar to Japanese in that there is no... Um, no, I need to remember to, the order of this. Yeah, there's no B sound. No, there's no V sound in. So it's similar to Japanese in that it's missing a constant like that. Sorry, I'm a, I talked to a lot of linguists, so this is why I was like excited about this. So, Grandma is Vaba. V and B so mean. And thank you, Sarko Sarkoso. The chief's best special, Patricia. The chief has a really neat pet. Her name is Patricia. Patricia, Patricia is a special sensei, so she can read people's fortunes. <laughs> no, number three, no talking to Vo. Once I go to Mama's hometown, I won't be allowed to talk to Vo anymore. Mama says it's grew to custom. I guess I'll just need to talk to all the Vo before I get there. No, number four, must not. I must, 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 must not cry. No crying. Oh. Okay, wait. I want to make sure that I actually have the the right. Um, because I don't want to mislead people. Um. Because there is, interestingly enough, yeah, Japanese doesn't have a V, so like it's one of those languages that uh, replaces the V with a B with a B with like a B sound, which is interesting. Oh, I for completely forgot every single thing from that thing I just read. Dear God. How are you, Savak? Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? <gasps> of course, it's a special occasion too, because a new student is joining the class. <gasps> okay, now pay attention, Granny Mornari. It's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo for Granny? <laughs> Granny and Gerudo is a home. Papa, I think. <laughs> ding, 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 that's right. You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before? I haven't. <laughs> well, I have, but I don't remember it. <laughs> Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. <laughs> well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown, so if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. I've got it. Papa's always so busy, so I'll just make him make it my mission to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. Oh, it's time. Madison, she's had to grow up so quick too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to mom and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Oh, I mean, yeah. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to rent to ride. Has to be a way. I want to ride the rail car so I can get to papa's construction site and help him get his work done. I forget that guy won't give me a right permission to write unless I pay him. Ah. I never had, had to pay until he took over. That's capitalism for you, baby. <laughs> God. Sorry. Uh, guess I'm gonna have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. How am I gonna do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Okay, so we're gonna block him not being able to see. Oh. oh, oh wait, oh wait, no, it's the, it's the, yeah. Right, just... Brezd and Huds. <laughs> oh, good lord. Yeah, 
Come on. Okay. I don't know how or why it worked so well when I first tried to do this, but... There we go. Now you can go. Yes, the army of President Hudson is kind of nervous about it, but I trust you. I'll run straight there. That's the fun thing about, like, going through, like, these puzzles multiple times, because it's just, like, every solution is different, and there are so many different solutions to everything. There she goes. I did it. My mission was a success. Yeah, I can finally get to Papa. Okay, I'm off. He's gonna be so happy to see me. Thanks for helping me with the Mason. It's so cute. Oh, boy. Hey, the zone I researched people team right there, too. That's up to standard. I do. Hi. Hi. Who are you? This is Hudson Construction Site. We're doing critical work that can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for uh. civilians. Not to mention the falling ruins. Those are incredibly dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. Critical work. Oh. There's so many artifacts fall here than anywhere else, and it's completely unreliable. Oh yeah, absolutely. The games that encourage creativity for the player is something else. I agree. Especially like this game in particular. It's just insane. As someone on the Sony survey team, this, a site like this is a dream come true. <laughs> Much in rare research materials just falling into your lap. Incredible. Um, anyway, this is Hudson Construction work site. Mm. This simply is allowed. Yeah, okay. Ooh. I ain't no civilian. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Hey, I didn't need mention you were coming here too, mister. It's strange, Papa keeps mumbling to himself, hmm, hmm, hmm. I understand. <laughs> oh. oh, it's you. So you know, I've been thinking, doing a lot of thinking. I can tell because of the hmms. Trying to figure out what I could possibly do for medicine. Oh. And well, what I came up with is this. Your other town is pretty far from here. There are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make medicine for her own special air balloon. Mm. But I just want to make it really special. Something just for her. I'm just not sure how to do that. Especially or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. The sun. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen sunderlands around here. I could use them to make a dye, but I'd get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to dye something this size, I need ten of them. Huh? You need sunderlands, Papa. Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'll make finding them my new mission. I appreciate the thought, but it's too much too difficult. The sunderlands are quite rare. I'm not even sure where you find them. Huh? Don't worry, I've seen a sunderland before. It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. The sky. Mm -hmm. How many do I have? Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> okay. I guess I gotta find those too. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard actually, wait. The funny thing is that I think people have attached the Hudson, the Hylian Shield to, like, the Hudson's cutout to the Hylian Shield. And the thing about it is that it's pretty indestructible, but, like, it can get destroyed in the final fight. And so the President Hudson Shield then also gets destroyed in the final fight. Huh? That's awesome. You did it. You've really and truly collected ten of them. What's this? You found them all for this. Looks like I'll have no problem dying the blue in the color of the sun. I wasn't any help at all. I failed my mission. Ooh. That's not true, Madison. Your papa is about to turn his balloon to the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you help me with that? Oh, oh well, I will, Papa. I'll help you make the sun. They're so cute. <laughs> we can call these like, and we're done. That's why everyone's son chooses how to construct the sun. They have their own jiggle, too, which is, like, very fun. <laughs> oh. At least it's done, and morning is already here. I'm just happy I get to watch my balloon one sleep a little longer. Oh. Hudson. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, didn't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escorter has arrived and is winning at the village entrance. Oh. I see. All right. Ooh. Let's all go together then. In Madison's special sun balloon. Why do you join us as well? Oh, 
I feel like I turned into a bird. <laughs> Listen, the genetic struckus, you do not want to fall from this height. Ooh. Hey, everyone, take a look at that. <laughs> the sun is waking up. Oh. It's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gruta Town or Cherry Town, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts, so you, you see your mom will always be beside you. Oh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. Oh, that's so cute. This game is really just... I know people, like, shit on it for being 30 frames per second in the Switch hardware. It's like, I get it. I get it. I understand, but it still looks gorgeous, honestly. <laughs> I hope your present made me very happy. Mm. Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any... Oh, sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. Oh. You can trust me, I'll take care of your Papa and Mama. Don't worry, you can go. Oh. You'll help me become a wonderful vine. Tell, come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. I'll come visit you in Gruta Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, Everson. I mean, Sarkosa. You'll become a great vine like Mama. I'll become me a wonderful foe like Papa. Hi! So far, every son. Oh, that's so cute. Ransom, let me just keep a smile on my face. Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us, too. Mm -hmm. Let's pull ourselves together if you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're ready, of course. Um, okay, I am ready. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me, honestly. I can't help thank you enough. Those sandalines were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, this is it. Leave saying thank you. Please take this. Okay, not too bad. Oh. This is from me. Okay, you're right. Yeah. You've already helped me out so much, but if you ever visit Gruta Town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that I wanted to land in Gruta Town? Well, I am the exception. Oh, all right, I guess it slipped my mind. I gotta be <laughs> getting back to work. We need to start accepting requests for dream homes again. Oh, right, yeah. I'm not gonna do that because I think the house that I have in my. that I had in my original save file was fine enough. <laughs> 